Hi all, Tony Sycamore here, market analyst for IG here in Australia. A quiet a week for markets last week as investors digested key earnings reports and assessed the outlook for monetary policy ahead of key central bank meetings over the next fortnight, including the Bank of Japan, the RBA, the FOMC, the ECB, as well as the Bank of England. Now, following the banking crisis last month, there was an expectation that central bank rate hiking cycle would soon give way to rate cuts or at worst a pause. However, communique this week has been more hawkish than expected and suggests central banks have unfinished business in their battle to tame inflation. The key events for next week include inflation reports in Australia, the US and Europe, as well as GDP reports in the US and Europe, and of course, the continuation of the quarter one 2023 earnings reports in the US. Now here in Australia, a huge week, we have the quarter one 2023 inflation report due to fall on Wednesday morning. Now, should that print fail to confirm that inflation is falling as quickly as anticipated, the RBA may be forced to act on its tightening bias as soon as next month. Now, this would be a very negative development for the ASX 200, which has had a very strong start to April. It would also be probably at the net margin a little bit supportive for the Aussie dollar, which continues to battle with that 68 cent resistance level. Now, over in Japan, we get the BOJ meeting on Friday. It is the first meeting for the new governor, Ueda, and we're not expecting to see any adjustment to yield curve control policy. Uh, however, we can never rule out a surprise Prize move there. And if we did see a, a slight adjustment or a tightening, if you like, it would be a negative development for dollar yen, for Nikkei and for global equities, and probably be broadly supportive for US yields, which probably would trigger a general risk off move across set classes. Now, in the US, we have some inflation data due to fall on Friday night. It is the core PCE price index, which is the Fed's preferred measure of inflation. We're looking for a fall to 4.6% there in March, which would be the lowest reading in 16 months, which would be broadly supportive for equities. However, anything higher than 4.6% would potentially seal the deal for a 25 basis point rate hike at the next FOMC meeting and spark discussions of a higher terminal rate, which would be in turn a negative for equities and broadly supportive of the US dollar. Uh, finally, we do also have some earnings reports coming from the mega tech giants, including companies such as Alphabet, Meta, Microsoft and Amazon. So a huge week ahead. Thanks very much for listening and have a good week ahead.